As we move into this next chapter, we're going to be looking at objects that are somehow moving together. In that case, we do ha need to have a better understanding of Newton's third law. We've mentioned it before. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. If you remember when we first started introducing forces, we said that there were always two objects involved in a force. A force needed an object that would essentially feel or experience the force, and then we needed the acting agent. This one is the one that causes the force. Now technically, both objects could be the one that feels or causes, but in, in, in any one situation, we focus on a single object to analyze the motion of. So for like Newton's second law, as we've been looking at the motion of different objects, we've focused in and looked at specifically the forces on the one object we were talking about the motion of. When objects interact and somehow move together, we need a way to talk about the contact force between them. So let's just kind of review what we mean by Newton's third law. Let's say we have a box on the floor. We push the box. For simpl simplicity's sake, I'm just going to say this push is horizontal. There would be a normal force pointing upwards, and of course the force of gravity downwards. If this box is staying stationary, there would be kinetic or sorry, static friction. If it was moving and sliding along the floor, it would be kinetic friction, but friction in some way. So I'm just going to leave it generically as F for friction not specifying at the moment whether it is kinetic or static. In terms of understanding Newton's third law, if we wanted to focus on P, we would say the action is me pushing on the box to the right. The reaction, then, so as we think about this, in this action statement, me, I'm the one causing the force P that the box is feeling. So in this statement, I am the acting agent. I'm the one causing the force P on the box, the push. The box is the one feeling the force, the one experiencing the force, the one we would be looking at the motion of because of the forces acting on it. When we're talking about Newton's third law, it's always the same two objects that are interacting as part of Newton's third law and they just act in opposite directions. So to describe the reaction, I would say the box pushes on me to the left. So we still have the box, we still have me, it's just that the box now is the acting agent, and I am the one that feels the force. When we push against a box, if we push against a chair, push against anything, we do feel that force. We feel that resistance of the object pushing on us. And so this is what Newton's third law is getting at, is the acting agent and the agent, these two objects involved in any one force description, we, they are acting on each other. 
and they are acting on each other in opposite ways. It's always the same type of force, this push, and we just swap the two objects involved in the description to describe the reaction. Another example, well, same picture, force of gravity, for example. If we are talking about the force of gravity, the action, when we're talking about what this box experiences, we would say the box is gravitationally attracted to the Earth. And when we say to the Earth, you can imagine to the center of the Earth. It's not like it's attracted to the ground. If the ground somehow, just like if I'm standing in my classroom, I'm standing on the floor in the classroom, but if somehow the floor could magically disappear, I would start falling because the force of gravity is still there. It's pulling on me in either case. So essentially the earth is gonna continue pulling on us as long as they're, we're near the Earth. So in this particular statement, the box is the object that is feeling the force. It is gravitationally, oops, I forgot the word, attracted to the Earth. So the Earth is the one causing this gravitational attraction. And so the Earth is the acting agent. It's the one causing this force. The reaction, according to Newton's third law, these same two objects, the box and the Earth, must be involved in the reaction, and they must be applying the same type of force. So in the reaction, we would say the Earth is gravitationally attracted to the box. Same two objects, same type of force. So this is our action and reaction pair. It is really common to want to say the normal force is the action or the reaction to gravity, but that's not the case. We're going to talk about that in just a second. Let's talk about this normal force in terms of action and reaction. Now again, the normal force we can state as the floor pushing up on the box. The floor is the acting agent. The box is the one feeling the force. The type of force is a push. The floor is in contact, pushing on the box. The reaction would be the box pushes down on the floor. Same two objects, same type of force. Now it's easy to confuse Newton's third law and second law. We already know that in the case of a box on the floor, whether it's stationary so that the friction is static or if it is sliding along the floor so that the friction's kinetic, Newton's second law tells us that the acceleration in the y direction, so up and down, so any type of up or down motion, is determined by the net force in the y direction divided by the mass. The acceleration of the box, specifically, is determined by the net force in that direction acting on the box. 
Well, we know there's no acceleration in the y direction because there's no vertical motion as the box slides across the floor. So this leads us, according to Newton's second law, that leads us to knowing that the net force specifically in the y direction is zero. Which tells us, since we have a normal force up, the force of gravity down, those are the only forces in the y direction on this specific problem, that needs to give us zero. Meaning the normal force needs to equal mg. That is totally true. But this is true because of Newton's second law and because this box does not have an acceleration in the y direction. We know the normal force is caused by the floor, caused by the floor. We know the force of gravity is caused by the earth, that gravitational attraction. These forces, both of these, both act on the box. And because it's the net force on the box that determines the acceleration, and there's no acceleration in the y direction in this case, the normal force needs to be equal to mg to maintain that acceleration of zero in the y direction. Okay, that mean, well, it doesn't mean per se, the normal force is not the action or reaction pair to the force of gravity, to mg. And that's because these forces are caused by different objects. Action-reaction pairs, when we talked about the normal floor, force, we said the floor is pushing up on the box. The reaction had to include these same two objects, so the box pushing down on the floor. Newton's third law is just telling us how these two objects are interacting. The one feeling the force that we're going to talk about the motion of compared to the other acting agent object that's causing the force. So we will never see action-reaction pairs on the same object. That's another reason when we go back to Newton's second law and look at and see that n equals mg, these both act on the box. They cannot be action-reaction pairs because they're both acting on the same object. Action-reaction pairs are always two objects interacting with each other, and the action versus reaction describes what they do to each other. Okay. So Newton's second law, Newton's second law describes the motion, specifically the acceleration of an object because of all the forces, the net force acting on the object. Newton's third law, the action-reaction pairs always involve the same two objects and describes how the two objects interact. So this particular chapter, we're going to be looking at objects that are somehow moving together. So we'll go through some examples and concept examples as well as the um, problem examples. So those will be in different videos. I want to just start with a bigger discussion of what we mean by Newton's third law.